Freshwater mussels are filter feeders, so they naturally clean our streams and rivers. They can filter up to a gallon of water an hour, so they provide a natural cleaning mechanism for our streams and rivers. Well, most freshwater mussels are imperiled, so their numbers are way down compared to historic levels. So what we're trying to do is augment or increase the natural populations out here by doing propagation at hatcheries and by increasing those numbers of mussels out in our streams and uh, rivers that helps increase that filtering capacity so it increases that um, natural cleaning within the water. Uh, when we go out to the river looking for freshwater mussels to propagate we're targeting gravid females and by gravid the equivalent would be pregnant. Those females have spawned in the wild and they're holding the larvae within the gills inside of their shell. Here today we were basically releasing about 8,850 freshwater mussels that we propagated at the Virginia Fisheries and Aquatic Wildlife Center from five different species and we've released those at two sites that we've targeted for uh, augmentation efforts here on the Nottoway River so we can continue to monitor these over time. And while we were releasing these mussels, we were also diving in the river to collect rabid females for propagation in 2012. And in total, we found about eight to 10 species out in the river and we're able to collect uh, probably about eight to 10 gravid mussels that we're able to take back to the hatchery that we'll use um, in 2012. And we're also able to find mussels that we had released earlier this year and last year that we had tagged. We probably found about uh, 15 to 20 of those. So we were able to get you know, survival information and growth information off of those. And there was about three that were actually gravid when we checked those. So we know that they had spawned out in the wild on their own. After we rear the mussels and get them to a taggable size, basically what we do is collect them from the different um, systems that we have them in. And we basically put a small plastic, uh, flexible plastic tag onto the mussel and we basically just use a standard super glue and we put a tag on one side of the mussel and that tag is unique to those mussels. It has a letter and a three digit number so we could tell um, when we go back out to the streams, if we were to collect that mussel again, we could tell which one it was. You know, we know what size it was when we released it so we can get growth and survival data over time and we can tell if that mussel is actually spawned in the wild. The tags that we put on the freshwater mussels are unique in that they have a letter and a three digit number. And so we, when we release the mussels and if we collect one that's tagged, we could track back and see what size that mussel was when we released it so we can get growth information over time, we can get survival information over time, and we can actually see if the females that we released have spawned in the wild. Um, so basically what we're trying to do is keep common things common. It's a little bit easier to work with these species now when they're still able to find those species out in the wild rather than when they become threatened and endangered and it's real difficult to find them. You don't have to put in quite the amount of resources, quite the amount of time and money and effort to actually find and propagate those threatened and endangered species. So the whole goal would be to catch these species before they come become threatened or endangered and to augment and increase their numbers to keep them off of a you know, threatened or endangered species list.